Hello and welcome to our 21st Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to go ahead and set up the forms.py file. Um, this is a redo, so if you're jumping back into our tutorials, I deleted the previous video because of a mistake pointed out by one of our users. Basically, just a couple typos, but since I was using a different text editor, I did not catch that. So, um, let's go ahead and create a forms.py file because we need the forms.py file to handle data being passed from our template to our view and the forms.py file handles that. So we need a forms.py file. Now forms.py um, file, if you look in your newsletter, is not included by default. So we have to create it. So click on your newsletter and then right click and we're gonna create a file called forms.py. If you didn't guess that, because I said it like six times. All right. So first things first with the forms.py file is we need to have access to the forms package inside of Django. So we do from Django import forms. Okay. Um, so we're importing the forms package. That gives us access to all the forms functions and classes. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is we're going to need the model that we created and we're going to call this, well, call this, we're going to import the model. So from dot models import newsletter user. There you go. All right. And next thing we need to do is create a subclass of model form, which is a class inside the forms package. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do class. And we're going to name this one. This is a pretty long name. I should shorten it, but let's name it new newsletter. Oops, newsletter user sign up sign up form. All right. Um, when you're working with forms, it it uh, it's advised to always put form at the end. If you're so if you're creating a class for a form, always put form at the end so you know what you're working with. All right, so the next thing we need to do is go into the uh, forms package. So forms dot, and we want to get the model form. So model form, okay? Because this is going to be a subclass of model form. Next thing we need to do is we're going to uh, call class meta. And what class meta does is allows us to go into the inner portion of model form and um, modify some of the parameters in there. So for example, we need to uh, change a parameter for model and we're going to call it newsletter user. So this is why we import our model. And what forms does is it actually goes and grabs um, the fields from our model. All right, so it's going to grab our fields, and if we didn't do any modifications to this uh, form, which we're going to do next, it would display um, all our fields. What we're going to say right now is fields is equal to, and inside a list, we're going to create a string, and we're going to say email. We only want to display our email. It's the only data we're going for from the user. Now, we're getting back two different types of data when stored in the database, and that would be email and date at it. But we only want to let the user modify email. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is create a function. We're going to call this function clean underscore email and self. All right. And what this function does is it get, it normalizes the data being passed from the form. All right, from the actual uh, input on the on the web app here, the actual input. And it's going to normalize that data before it sends it onto our view because the uh, forms.py file is the manager, if you will, between the input um, field on your site to the views.py file. So in this case, if we put in an email address in the form on a website, if you will, um, we're passing that information from to the forms.py file, then onto our view, and then if we're saving on the database, it would go from our view to our database, okay? So we wanna go ahead and normalize that data so something that our Django project can handle. 
So let's go ahead and create a variable email, and we're gonna say self do self dot cleaned cleaned underscore data dot get, and so clean data is the method that's gonna normalize our data. Um, the get method is going to go ahead and get the email data from the um, input field. All right, so email. And all we do after that is return email. All right, so when we call this in our view, we're getting a um, normalized data email. All right, so I got two peppers. If you guys never seen that, pep eight, like right here, pep eight. That's our coding style that we need, should abide by from Python. So there we go. Go ahead and save this. And um, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we start working on our view.